Today, get a sneak peek of the Deploy RBAC hands-on lab coming up at Converge 2023. Welcome back to Tanium Tech Talks. I'm your host, Ashley McGlone. And you know, each year, Tanium hosts our annual user conference in November. It's called Converge. And this year, it's once again in Austin, Texas. Some great barbecue down there. It's a great excuse to go. So if you have not signed up already, it's not too late. Go to converge.tanium.com and follow the links for the lab specifically. Now, I've also put links here in the show notes below to make it easy for you. So either you can do the virtual labs if you're not able to travel, or you can do them in person with us in Austin. We would love to see you there. And speaking of seeing you there, if you can find me at Converge this year among all those people, I have two limited edition pieces of swag that you get to pick from a guitar pick or a Tech Talk sticker. Yes, some limited edition swag for you. Catch me at Converge. I'd love to give you one of those. Speaking of Converge, you know, I've been at Tanium for six years now, and I've been to every Converge uh, since I was an employee. And I've written labs, uh, I've taught labs, and I have to say, you know, I, I've seen a lot of labs at Converge. That's what I'm saying. And the reason I'm, I'm mentioning this is because this year, when I saw the list of labs coming up at Converge, I was blown away. This is the most amazing list of labs that we've ever gotten to give you at Converge. I can't wait for you to see these and try these. And so there's one specifically that I picked today on RBAC and Deploy because RBAC is a big deal. You've got to get that right, you know, role-based access control. And especially for large companies, there's all kinds of use cases where RBAC becomes a, a real challenge for you to make sure the right people have the right access. And now we've introduced that capability within the Deploy module, which people have been asking for for a long time. So you're going to get to see that today on the show for the first time. But I've asked Kat and Kelly to come talk about their lab because when I was looking at the list, this one really jumped out at me because I'm doing this with some of my customers right now. And I thought you might like to see it too. So Kat and Kelly, welcome to the show. Uh, Kelly, you've been here before. Introduce yourself for those who haven't met you yet. Sure. I'm Kelly Wynn. I've been at Tinium for almost eight years now, um, and I'm a technical account manager. And Kat. Hi, I'm Kat. I am also a technical account manager here at Tinium. I've been here for a little under three years, and this will be my first Converge in person. I was able to do a lab when I first started here, but that was the year that we did it virtually, so I'm very excited to see many of you in person. Oh, that's exciting. You're going to love this venue in Austin. It's, it's a really nice hotel with lots of room for all the sessions. So uh, this year, tell us, so when people go to sign up for your lab, what's the title, Kelly? What are they looking for? Uh, they'll be looking for playing nice with others in a shared deploy sandbox. And what is this lab about, really? So this lab is going to be about the Tanium deploy module and of course, you know, new RBAC controls within that module. If you didn't know what deploy is, it's for a third party installing, updating and removing of software uh, within your enterprise. Um, and when you're using this, uh, ideally when you're doing this, you'll have large enterprises with a lot of defined boundaries um, with different organizations and different groups. And so sometimes you have a lot of people in there, um, they might unintentionally do things that you didn't necessarily want them to do, right? That, you know, it could take a negative effect on endpoints in terms of, you know, this particular zero day um, application didn't get out to my endpoints because somebody messed with the deployment details and it changed to their controls and not mine. Um, so with this, it, a lot of our SLED customers um, are kind of trying to deal with this right now. And so with this lab, you're gonna be able to walk through different uh, strategies or working within this shared environment and our new RBAC uh, roles. And so you'll be able to you know, leverage custom tags, get best practices, best way to target these deployments, um, you know, making your own maintenance windows, kind of defi clearly defining different um, pieces to this module. So that way other users don't necessarily get to see it or touch it or modify your details and only your group gets to see those uh, details. 
So you mentioned SLED for those of those who don't know that's state and local and education as far as a, like a customer vertical yeah. in our industry, right? We've got manufacturing, we've got, you know, pretty much any industry is going to have like different business units or acquisitions, yeah. different company divisions or agencies within state governments, for example, that are all not supposed to see each other's stuff. And that's what RBAC really helps with. And so Kat's going to give us a demo of what this looks like now uh, with the deploy module. Again, fresh new capability. You're getting to see it on the show here for the first time. So Kat, take it away. Thanks, Ashley. And thanks, Kelly, for the great introduction to the lab. So as you can see on my screen, um, this is probably a very familiar looking page if you have deploy in your environment. There are a lot of different deployments going on that may or may not be applicable for your devices and may not be something that you or your team created. One additional column that you may notice is this new capability of content sets. This content set allows you to restrict what you can see on this page. So during our lab, we are going to walk through configuring access that will show you just the devices, maintenance windows, templates, and profiles that you care about, that you or your team created, limited by these content sets. So Kat, could you elaborate on that a little bit for us? So uh, for those who aren't familiar maybe with the ins and outs of RBAC, you mentioned also devices in there. So not just the software packages, but also the, does that mean that the which machines are allowed to target also? Yes. Deploy has always respected what we call computer groups. So limiting the machines that you can take action on. So that way you can only target machines that you are assigned. But now you don't even see deployments that target other machines if they're inside of another content set. That's great. So that means I can't see the other people in my company or organization. I can't see their stuff and they can't see my stuff. Exactly. Oh, good. Of course, the the all up team admin, who would be a lot of the people attending the conference, they can still see everything because their persona is probably going to include that. But you're thinking this is delegated access within deploy. Yes. And during the lab, we'll talk through both what the admin needs to do to set up this access and what their best practices would be, as well as covering what the end user of Tanium, who is actually setting up these deployments on a day-to-day -day basis, will see and how they will use it. I, I want to take a minute to just elaborate on this a little bit more since we've got some time. Could you talk about the difference between how you would set up like a default persona versus a persona that would grant them this specific access? So when you first sign into Tanium, what we call your default persona is what you have access to when you first sign in. That is the modules and computers that you have assigned directly to you as a user or the user group that you're a part of. But you can also set up alternate personas, which are similar to profiles that allow you to completely change your scope of access. And this is extremely beneficial for those admins that may be able to see everything, but may want to see what their team sees. And they can create a persona just like this one to see what their team would see. Well, that's great. So Kelly, when people come to this and when they come to Converge, when they go to sign up, why should they pick your lab over all the others? This is a problem that we see in a lot of different organizations where they're still trying to figure out what to do with Deploy and how to separate for their different entities. So I think this is a great learning experience for everyone um, on how best to use Deploy in this new RBAC environment. You know, I'm thinking also just all up, just the topic of RBAC alone uh, across any module. It would be just a fantastic uh, reason to come check this out because maybe it's an area that you want to explore for your company as well and you need to learn more about how RBAC works. You can learn about it in the context of deploy and then apply that across other modules. So I, I think this is really a win-win lab uh, for people to attend. So that's why I wanted to make sure that people are aware of this one because I was looking through the list and thought, oh, I like this. So uh, thank you, Kat and Kelly, for coming on today to show us about the Deploy RBAC Lab coming up soon. Thank you for having us. I hope to see you guys all there. All right. We'll yeah. see you guys. Thank you, there. Ashley. Thank you. All right, folks. Like I said, this year's lab options are amazing. 
So if you haven't done it yet, go to converge.tanium.com. And so here I want to walk you through what you're going to find when you get to the Converge website. And you're obviously going to hit the register now button. But before you hit that, you might want to go ahead and click through the labs and learnings and see what's there. So you want to sign up for all these if you can. Right. So labs and learning, uh, whether you're in person or virtual attendee, you can sign up. I think there's an extra charge for the lab pass. Uh, but there maybe talk to your account team, see if there's some options uh, to help with that. But go to the labs and learning, and there you're going to see a list of all the labs. And then it'll have a, a, another list here for the in-person labs. Okay, that's what we were just talking about. Now, before we get into that list, I want to talk briefly about the certification exams and the capture of the flag. So here on this YouTube channel, uh, I'll put some links in the show notes. But uh, last year, I was there in person recording videos of people who were getting ready to take their certification exams and talking about what their experience was like. If you want some tips, you can go watch some of those videos as you get ready to take your own certification exams there at Converge. I'd really recommend you try that this year. It's a wonderful experience, and I've heard that they're expanding the certification area. It was such a hit last year. So there'll be lots of opportunity for you to get signed up and get certified while you're there. And you want to study before you come. That'll help. All right. Uh, also, Capture the Flag. This is a fantastic event. Last year, I did a behind-the-scenes interview with the mystery man who writes all of the Capture the Flag scenarios. This is one of the highest technical challenges at Converge each year that we have people from all over the world participating. It's an amazing event. Make sure to check that out, especially, and that's for the cybersecurity folks, right? Uh, and if you're just getting started, it's a great way to learn and get your hands on Tanium and learn more cybersecurity skills. Or if you're an expert, it's a time to show off your skills and to sharpen them and to challenge them to see. Uh, often, the, most people usually are on a team, but we've even had some per can people compete single, just one person on their own team. So you want to check those things out. Again, check out the Capture the Flag interview video here on this Tanium channel. I look for CTF and Converge and you'll find it there. Now let's take a look at the in-person labs. So this year, the lab roster is phenomenal and you can... Check this out. We'll filter by name. There's a list of all these labs in here. All right. And then you can filter by which modules you're interested in learning about or even by difficulty. You know, we do have some very beginner labs as well. If you're brand new to Tanium or if you're a seasoned administrator, there's something for everybody here. So again, why is this the best lab roster we've had to date? Check this out. We've got Tanium reporting. I've got lots of examples of working with customers, helping them build custom reports. You get to figure out how to do that for yourself. It's really a great way to show the value that you're getting and the data that you're surfacing from Tanium, right? Certificate manager, okay. Uh, custom content, uh, patching, you know, these are some great use cases, uh, hidden exposures, unmasking vulnerabilities and software ingredients using Tanium SBOM and comply. This is all uh, fresh off the uh, fresh off the list, uh, fresh content Tanium's created. And now you get to do labs for it right here. Hands on. Uh, home on the IP range, how to do more when you got more computers, right? Mess managing those computers at scale, covering a number of modules there. I could just go on and on through this list because I, I the problem is once I get started reading these, I know I'm going to miss some. But there's a ton of great, here's ServiceNow, Labs on ServiceNow integration. Uh, we've got another video that covers just the Microsoft integration labs, right? Uh, Mastering Interact, we did a show on that with Mason. He's going to be doing a lab in person. If you did the Mastering Interact uh, channel here, the video that we did with Mason, you'll get to meet him in person and go even deeper in the lab hands-on there. Uh, the Engage module is brand new. We just did the DEX, the Digital Employee Experience with Jason Stow, get to meet him in person, right? So a lot of the people you've seen on this show, you can get to meet them in person by going to their labs. Uh, no capes required, single endpoint view and screen sharing helps you save the day as the help desk hero. I tell you, I've got a customer right now that's using this. 
And they're getting so much uh, help from this using that single endpoint view and then seeing everything about that endpoint, then drilling in with a screen share. It's a going to be a great lab. Again, I, I just I, I'm tempted to read every one of these. Oh, here now. Remember last year we fe featured here on the show uh, the threat response lab. This one, it was uh, it's coming from inside the house is what it was last year. Now we've got a two part threat response lab, examine the enemy, expel the enemy. Again, fantastic content this year. There's our deploy lab we just talked about. Say goodbye to policy management and device enrollment stress. Um, Enforce makes all OS settings and enrollment a success. This is great looking at the new cross-platform uh, MDM capabilities there. So much to talk about here. There's some of the Microsoft labs we, we just hit on that other episode. Titanium Basics, right? Getting in there for the beginners. If this is your first time, you get somebody on your team you want to bring with you, get them trained hands-on with experts from the beginning, right? The Gateway Treasures with talking about API uh, opportunities, patching strategies, all right? Titanium to deploy and manage Microsoft Defender. We talked about that one already on the other show. Vulnerability investigation and remediation on Linux systems. Mm, nice angle there. And then workflows and automation. Oh, is this the new module? I think this is. You want to check this out, folks. This is stuff they're going to be announcing from the main stage. and You're going to get your hands on it for the first time right here at Converge. So remember... You've got labs and learning. You've got capture the flag and certification exams all coming up at Converge 2023. Sign up today. What are you waiting for? Go to converge.tanium.com. Hit that register now button and get signed up because these labs will fill up fast. So that's our show for today on Tanium Tech Talks. I hope to see you in person at Converge. Until next time, go Tanium.